Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Hey, what is a team that we have not looked at in a very long time? Okay, well, to be honest with you, I could throw a list up of a lot of teams we haven't looked at in a really long time, but the team I'm specifically talking about is Mercedes. I feel like it has been a long, long time since we looked at this Mercedes diecast right here. I didn't get any Spark or Mini Champs Mercedes from the previous years, maybe I should. So this is the last time I looked at a Mercedes car. Now of course this team is a now proven fraudster because they just can't get their shit together since the beginning of the uh, 2022 regulations. They have just been not good the past couple years. So it's, I mean, honestly, it's kind of easy to forget they were ever there. It's been Red Bull and Ferrari and now McLaren. Uh, taking up all the limelight. So Mercedes, uh, they've kind of fallen to the wayside, but today we're gonna rectify that. We are going to finally look at a Mercedes diecast. And today it's gonna be the Barago F1 W14E performance. Now I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I wasn't gonna buy this car. I was just kind of going to skip over Mercedes uh, for all the Baraga reviews this time around because well, because I wasn't particularly interested uh, in this car. I wasn't completely impressed by it. I didn't think it looked that good, which is a shame because I really liked, you know, the black Mercedes of t yesteryear, 2020 and 2021. But uh, it wasn't that impressive. I, I didn't think at least seeing from the online listings, it didn't seem that interesting. And uh, yeah, I was going to skip it, but I saw it at Target. I found this car at Target and it's like, well, if you're putting it right in front of me, you know, I might as well. And you know, maybe, hey, this might be a good, really good car because I really liked some of the other Baragos we've reviewed in the past. Uh, this one is the one I grabbed in particular, this 2023 Alpine. So considering, you know, all the other Baragos have been really good this year, this one will probably be pretty good, but uh, yeah, I, I wasn't going to get it, uh, surprisingly. Let's open this car up now. I won't waste any more time. We'll talk more about the history and we'll do comparisons later. I really like the boxes on these Barago cars as of late, by the way. I really like this. Ugh, that was not a good sound. I really like the turquoisey blue on this box uh, more than like just black. This is a good box too, but yeah, I really like the turquoise on it. This is the 2022 Mercedes, obviously. Here it is. This is George Russell. I did not mention that up to this point because, yeah, I just didn't. We'll get a closer look at it, but this is probably one of the weirdest cars I have ever seen. Uh, just the whole monocoque area uh, behind the driver. This is just the weirdest shape I've ever seen. It's almost like the halo just runs all the way back, which is so, so weird. But the Mercedes cars have looked weird the past few years. Uh, and also, I didn't say this, I noticed this, it looks like it's already like all dusty, and I just took it out of the box. Do you see? It's like covered in fucking fleckles everywhere. It's like dusty, I just opened this up. What in the world is up with that? Nothing a little compressed air can't fix, am I right? That seems to have done the trick, so let's get this shit off the base. Oh, what happened to the Mercedes that I used to love so dearly? Yeah, 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 they finished second in the constructor standings last year or whatever, but, you know, screw that. I mean, this is the team that's supposed to be winning. Uh, I think they dropped the ball bigger than everybody else uh, with these 2022 regulations. Uh, I, I can't even hardly believe that they won a race in 2022. Uh, it just seems so odd, and they just cannot figure it out, it seems like, you know? They seem to get worse every single year. They started out not good in 2022, but they were getting podiums. They got a podium in Bahrain in the very first race, and they, of course, won in 2022. And then in 2023, they were worse. They started out worse. They never ended up winning. And now in 2024, it seems like they were worse off. It seems like they're worse off than they were in 2023. Like, I just, I don't get it. I Something does need to change, I feel like. Maybe their concept just doesn't really work with the rules very well. I mean, I think that's 
basically proven the no side pods didn't work. This is a no side pod Mercedes that we're looking at right here. They eventually brought him back halfway through the season, I think, but this is a early season spec car. Uh, but yeah, they just they just can't figure it out. And I think it's kind of amazing that McLaren has seemed to figure it out quicker than Mercedes has. Definitely. They're winning now. I think they can win more races. But anyway, you know, let's get on to this car. It looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I think the suspension looks fucking terrible. Holy crap. Look at this. Like the bottom is got like that carbon fiber detail. And then up here, it just looks like shit. That is really bad. I really hate that, actually. I don't like to say that all the time, but, man, that's that's really bad. <laughs> I hate that a lot. Other than that, you know, I was a little bit worried that the matte black would look kind of dull, but it's pretty good. I think the livery on this is actually really good. Uh, it's uh, It looks solid. I really like the printing is very precise. It isn't blurry at all. It's usually something you can see on a Barago car. Uh, one thing, you know, I own the other black Mercedes that Barago made. Uh, this one from 2021. And I don't know, I just wasn't a huge fan of this one. I just feel, I just felt like the glossy black paint did not look nearly as good. It's dusty as hell. Holy cow. Uh, we know what can solve that though. I just wasn't a huge fan of this one. Uh, I remember not really liking it when I got it. It's grown on me a little bit, but I just don't think, I've always said, I think the glossy cars don't look as good uh, in terms, at least with Barago, uh, the matte finish always looks better. The suspension wasn't really good on this one either. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's okay, this one, but I, I didn't like it that much. This one's definitely a huge step in the right direction. One thing I am curious though is, this uh with this matte finish you know it's i wonder how the real car would look i wonder how a mini champs or a spark mercedes would look because one thing i realized you know this all this black is not painted black on the real car it's bare carbon fiber that was the whole thing with all the liveries last year is that it's bare carbon fiber it's not painted black here it's bare carbon fiber and we noticed that with the fernando alonso the mini champs because it actually has the carbon fiber pattern. If this was a Brago, this would just be black. It would not have a carbon fiber pattern. By the way, isn't there supposed to be an Aston Martin Brago car? I still have not seen that yet. I don't know, maybe that shit got canceled. But yeah, if this was a Brago, it would just be painted back. It would not have that pattern, and that's exactly what it is like on this Alpine. No pattern whatsoever, it's just matte black. Ooh, kind of dusty, maybe we should. So this car right here, it's all matte black. So I'm assuming this entire thing is all unpainted carbon fiber, which I don't know if that would really look good, uh, but they did it, so I don't know, who really cares? I haven't really got up close as I usually do. I've kind of just rambled a little bit. So let's take a look. So let's take a look up close at some things. Uh, the tires, this this wheel cover, I'm not a huge fan of this. I think this isn't Barago's fault. It's most likely Mercedes' fault. You know, I like them when they have like these cool designs, you know, uh, if it's just gonna be nothing, I'd almost rather it be the old old way that they did the wheels where they just had the like sort of the spokes and everything in there. Uh, but obviously that's an F1 rule, not a Barago thing. Uh, and the same with the rear wheel. The rear wing, I'd say it looks pretty good. I think the rear wings a lot of times on these Baragos have been kind of hit or miss. Some of them look a little cheap. Some of them look almost greasy the way that they sort of apply the finish. This one is pretty good, but let's take a look at the inside of the rear wing. Are they stickers? Of course they are. Hallmark of Barago. Uh, even this looks kind of weird. I don't know why. I just feel like usually the sponsor stretches across the whole rear wing. It looks kind of weird that they did it. Uh, it doesn't look super cheap. I'll say that. I think when they get kind of glossy, they start to look a little cheap. I think this is a pretty solid car. I don't like this black livery as much as the older ones, not just with the Barago, but I mean the actual car. I wasn't as huge a fan of this livery. Maybe it's just because it didn't do very good, so it didn't really resonate with me super well. But I would say besides the suspension, which, I mean, it looks like they're burnt. It looks like they're deformed on this car. 
right up top here. So that is just, that's just really bad. I just really don't like that, honestly. Um, I'll show some up close pictures of some of the other stuff, like the front wing and stuff. But yeah, I mean, this is a solid car. I'm just not as huge a fan of the livery as the as I've mentioned, you know. So I I would say I think uh, like that Alpine and the McLaren look better. A solid car, no doubt. I think it's just held back by the livery, just not being as interesting as previous years. What do you guys think of this year's Mercedes livery, the sort of mix of the black and the silver? I think it definitely adds a little bit more pizzazz to it, um, so I'm, I'm all for it. Uh, I wish they would kind of be at the front again. I was never really a Mercedes fan, but you know, I like good teams. I like teams that make things interesting, and Mercedes just hasn't been that uh, as of late. But it is definitely one of the most peculiar looking Baragos I've ever seen with the weird humpback, the hunchback of Notre Dame kind of kind of shit going on. But yep, here it is with the 2022 Mercedes. See what I'm saying? This sort of stretches across the whole rear wing as this one, I don't know, just looks kind of small. I don't know. But yeah, uh, pretty solid car. I wasn't going to pick it up. I'm glad I did because it's an interesting car to look at, but... There isn't much to say. Uh, I wish Mercedes would get their shit together. Uh, but now I'm just sort of rambling and talking about the same stuff. So that's going to do it for this video. You guys can check out my Instagram page if you want to see some other stuff I have in my collection that hasn't made it to video yet. Uh, there are a couple cars that I have that I'm making a video of right now. It's not out yet. So check out my Instagram if you want to see that. Uh, be sure to subscribe, like the video, tell me what you guys think of this. And yeah, that's going to do it, so I will see you in the next video.